Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Remote PE Teacher YouTube channel. Uh, glad to have you here today. want to take you through a tool used through Google called Google Jamboard. Um, when I first found Google Jamboard in one of my tech classes and did some assignments over it, which I'll show you one today, uh, boy, I thought there's no way I'd ever use this. This is like one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. And as you can see, I have three or four up here. I use it a lot with my football program, and I think it has a lot of functionality. I, it's actually one of my more favorite tools now. Um, so I'm going to kind of take a little quick dive through how to do Google Jamboards. I um, want to throw a quick plug in for my Google Drive folder for all you teachers out there looking for ideas and templates. Uh, you can subscribe to my Google Drive folder for $10 on Venmo. Uh, see my YouTube header for more information, or you can direct message me at, at CoachLaw71 on Twitter. Or uh, send me a message, uh, comment on this on YouTube. I'll try to check it out. And... Uh, Find me on Facebook, uh, Lee Weber, and uh, we'll get you hooked up. All right, thank you. And let's get started. Okay, so these are some of my recent jams. Um, here, we're going we're gonna to start a new jam, so i got to come over here and move myself. And so what Google Jamboard is, and we're getting there, think a little like Google Slides. Think about interactive whiteboard. Okay, so... Um, we're going to call this test Jamboard, just for whatever reason. Okay, so this is a test Jamboard, and so what we have here is one slide, and you can have multiple slides. You can add, okay, just by clicking the arrow, you get add more slides, and then on the slide you can do a number of things. There's the pin, so I can draw, okay, and if you have a Chromebook, okay, uh, one of the easiest ways to use this on the Chromebook drawing tool, it has some predictive drawings uh, function. I'm using it on a MacBook, so I don't have that ability. But on a Chromebook, and I believe on the iPhone app or the Android app, you can use Google Jamboard and you can start to draw a Christmas tree like this. And Google Jamboard will notice that, hey, that looks like a Christmas tree. And they give you some options for some predictive drawings that you could put in some maybe better drawings than that Christmas tree or arrowhead or whatever there. Okay, so we can go different colors, we can go different thick thicknesses, we can marker, we can highlight, and we can brush paint, and we have different colors here. Okay, I can also erase pretty easily, okay, just like any other drawing format function. Okay, I have an arrow, I can select things, okay, if I want to move them around, I can't really select my drawings, but I can click on things and select. I can add a sticky note. So here is my sticky note. Okay, and I'll show you some better examples than that. But you can go different colors. You can go no color. Okay? If you have a no color sticky note, then it ends up just being like writing on there. Okay. Now, is it as awesome as any other text entry? No. I mean, Google Jamboard is not meant to be Google Slides or anything like that. It's just meant to have a place to interact on, and you can have the your students interact with you on this Jamboard. Um, there, I selected it. I can change the way it looks. I can do a lot of different things. I can duplicate it. And I can just delete it. All right. I can insert a number of pictures from uploading from my file. I can use Google Image Search, I can use Photos, um, any of those things. I can draw some shapes, I can draw circles. Um, if I click my little arrow to the side, I can draw arrows, diamonds, all types of things. Hey, I can also just insert a text box, hey, not like a sticky note, sticky note and text box being different. Hey, and then I can use my laser pointer right there. Hey, so if I'm presenting to a class. So how would you use this? And we can, other things we can do, we can clear the frame, okay? And uh, we can have different backgrounds. Say I was in a math class and I wanted some gridded paper to make some sort of diagram, um, something like that, I could do that. I have all kinds of grids and graphs and then just plain old backgrounds. Now, how would you use this? And this is how I use this. Um, I use it to flip my classroom and explain some things out, make it a little more interactive. You can have kids collaborate on a Jamboard together, create one together. Um, but I want to show you, I guess, the one Jamboard that I have made. I'm going to clear this one off, and I don't want this Jamboard hanging out and around, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that Jamboard. I can rename it. I can even download it as a PDF. 
Okay. Um, and I believe, um, I have not done this because I had, haven't had need to, but I believe that you can load these to the Google Classroom as well. Um, so let's go down and look at one that I've created. Okay. And I can kind of preview it there, but if I click on it, okay, um, I was using this as an example for my class that I created. A, or I, I was taking and so what this is is a Google Jamboard where we let's uh, go here and we're gonna zoom in um, let's zoom in hundred percent and so I wanted to talk about sprinting technique and I wanted to create a little Jamboard that I already had set up and so then I can go to spots and talk about different cues that I have okay, with the kids and then I can move this Jamboard around, talk about cues on our start. A, I have pictures here as I'm screencasting and talk about three buckets of water, three bottles of water position. Um, I can, oh, well, I had that for propel yourself down the track. A, um, drive out, not up, not up in here, okay. I can talk about split and rip and pushing a car, push, push, push. Those are different ways. So I would be talking through this and just, Scanning through different parts of this. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to it. Okay. So I can just use it as a whiteboard. I can have things set up, right? or I can start to put them in. But I have this one already set up. So, um, like I said, I can zoom certain places. I can zoom right here. I want to talk about fist to forehead. Then I want to talk about propelling myself down the track or tape drill. We talk about we use a tape drill so I can go all the way through this. I also could do something like this. Okay, so what I've got here is I took a picture of a sprinter okay, and I use the drawing functions. I use a drawing tool to make a line here that goes through and talks about how this person has parallel nature of their front shin and their back shin, just some sprinting technique. And so it's good for that as well. It's a relatively simple tool. Um, I enjoy using it. We can go back, take a little bit here into looking at, I use it as well. And uh, you know, we talk about with our kids, uh, football kids, I use this to talk about just a couple plays that we run and this is not anything that anybody doesn't already know but we talked about how to run this play out of two by two and then i would scroll over here as on a screencast and talk about how to run it um here with no safety in the middle of the field this was with you know sorry this was with the safety in the middle of the field this was not hey that's all i'm getting kind of football junkie here but you can use this in a variety of ways to have an interactive whiteboard to talk to your kids um, you can share it, and then as you're sitting, even if you're in a regular classroom, you're standing in front of all your kids, and you want them to have the whiteboard right in front of you instead of looking up to the front of the class. They've all got, uh, your, so let's say you're a one-to-one -one situation. I could share this white this Jamboard with everybody, and they could be looking directly at what I'm drawing and talking about on their screen instead of up at the top. So if you have a kid that can't see the board, this is a perfect way to do that. Um, so Google Jamboard, you, you know, you've got to kind of work with it how you want to do it and things that you want to do with it and play with it a little bit, but it's a great little whiteboard interactive tool. Um, hope this helped you out some. Hope you can use it. Uh, be open-minded, unlike I was in the beginning, and, and give it a try. It's jamboard.google.com should work with your Google account.